so welcome to the final day of Hanukkah 2017. It has been a really exciting journey. What I'm working with here is the final Spinjones bat. It's a beautiful gradient and the leftover pieces of the classy squid tonality set. So right off the bat, I knew that I wanted to tone down this really poppin' turquoise and pink action. So I blended it together in hopes of getting sort of a lavender-y kind of thing, which I did. I could have continued to blend it more, but I felt like once it was spun, it was going to chill out even more. Um, so I did this on my hand cards because there was only a little bit of fiber. And then I went on to, uh, basically, as you can see, <laughs> strip apart the bat into color chunks and I matched the color chunks to a piece of roving or you know the blended thing that I just did and then blended those together on the drum carter. This particular blending job is kind of horrible as you can see there. Um, I wasn't as careful as I should have been. <laughs> but I blended them together and my goal here was to preserve the gradient of the bat and the roving and use the bat as kind of the add-ins. So I've mentioned in a couple other videos that using the bat as, or blended top as an add-in rather than a standalone fiber is a really excellent way of bringing interest to your fiber. So if you are a more traditional smooth spinner, then you may feel really nervous about bringing in crazy add-ins. If you're on a budget, you may not have a lot of ability to just purchase bulk amounts of fun stuff but there's a way for you to get around that so if you purchase a even a sample set of blended topper bats then you can use those as add-ins for example here you can get a fairly large chunk and blend it with other fiber and mellow out the bat or if you were using poppin fiber you could spice up the bat um, if you use just a tiny piece you can paint it on your drum card or your blending board or hand card or I don't know lay it in to draft it however you want to add add-ins in you can do that too and just use it like a silk or an Angelina there are so many different possibilities when you shift your perspective and look at something as a add-in so that's what I'm doing here and you can see that the fiber from the roving just enhanced the piece of fiber from the bat that I'm blending it with. I really think that this was an excellent technique and it didn't take anything away from the bat or the roving, it just made it better together. Um, another tip when you are blending, um, A, you should be blending slower. Uh, I was in a big hurry because the baby was asleep. But <laughs> Um, when you feed it in for a double blend, make sure that you put it in sandwich style so it's stacked one on top of each other, because if you lay it on its side and just feed it in sort of striped style, it's going to just end up on your drum also striped style. <laughs> so that's my thoughts about blending with quote quote finished fiber and using it as a ingredient rather than a finished product. So you can see the gradient there. And I'm going to go ahead and spin this in the usual way, um, one at a time, end to end. And you're going to see me spin the bats in different ways, just because I was experimenting with different styles of spinning. But the weight is pretty much standardized across the board.
to take this time to do a little sign off. It has been fantastic. I am pre-filming all of these and putting them to schedule because like last year I'm off the grid. Once Hanukkah begins I take all of my holiday leave and I won't be back until the first of the year. So um, just know that I'm looking at your photos and your comments and really enjoying the response that you guys are giving to this. Um, this has been really fun. This is one of my favorite projects of the year, even though it is so crazy and stressful. And <laughs> technology this year was not the Hanukkah miracle. In fact, it was the Hanukkah disaster. But <laughs> there have been plenty of other Hanukkah miracles to be had. And I'm just really thrilled that I had another season with you guys. This is the end of season two. And I will be back in the future with season three. Um, there's an end of year survey in the description box below. So if you have thoughts and feelings about Spin Weekly, you want to share them with me, uh, do me a favor and take that. It's pretty fun and easy. And I look at all of the responses and it really shapes the plans I have for the future. Um, the Patreon family has taken it already and the overwhelming response is more dye stuff and more breed studies and uh, more beginner stuff. So I'm going to really put my heart and soul into that and I look forward to seeing you guys uh, who haven't taken it, your thoughts and feelings. So I'm going to sign off here. As usual, this is brought to you by the Patreon people. Hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see what I do in the coming year. If you want to see last year's Hanukkah playlist, it's also in the description box below. And I really do love you guys and I appreciate all of your views and comments. And I will see you next year. Bye.